In this video, we're going to take a look at the other graphical elements section found within Suffusion theme options. We're skipping over some of the other options at this time because several of the other settings must be activated here before we can modify their settings and see the results. For instance, in a previous video, we wanted a top navigation. You must first activate the top navigation in the other graphical elements section, and then you can modify the actual graphical appearance under the section titled Skinning. To get to the Suffusion Options dashboard from the WordPress dashboard, hover over the Appearance tab. Click Suffusion Options, and this will take you to the Suffusion Options dashboard. Now, click Other Graphical Elements. Let's start from the top. The favicon is an icon that you can set so browsers that provide favicon support will display a page's favicon. The favicon gives your traffic an easy way to notice your site in their bookmarks and it can become a type of branding logo that's unique to your website on the internet. Once an appropriate sized image is uploaded here, it will display as your logo when someone bookmarks your site and will also show on the tab and in the navigation bar when typing. Next is the navigation bar below the header section. As discussed previously in the theme skinning video, this is where you'll activate your top navigation bar. In this section, you can also choose horizontal positioning to the left, center, or right. You can also choose to show the navigation bar as individual tabs or as a continuous list. With the drop-down delay, you can set how fast your drop-down menu appears. Next, you can choose to show a home link in your navigation bar. You can choose to make your home link a text link, an icon, or you can choose not to display your home link at all. The order of entries on the navigation bar can be adjusted here. And here you can make some basic modifications to the way that fonts are displayed in the navigation bar. The next three sections are treated in a similar way. There's a section on displaying pages in the navbar, displaying categories in the navbar, and displaying links in the navbar. The settings for each of these are identical, so let's just take a look at the Pages settings. There are two options for the way that pages are displayed on the top navigation bar. By default, a single tab for pages is shown in the navigation bar. This tab has a drop-down menu that will display the pages that you want set to be displayed. The other option is to show the top-level pages in the navigation bar and their sub-pages in the drop-down menu. Next. If you choose to display a single tab, you can give a custom name to the tab that will hold your pages. If you have a specific page that you want to go to upon clicking the Pages tab, set the full URL here. Note that this setting is ignored if you've chosen to display top-level pages in the navigation bar. If you've chosen to show the top-level pages in your navigation bar, then you'll need to identify what pages you want to display. I usually set this to Include Selections from the next option. And now, in this section, you'll tick the pages that you want to show in the top navigation. Any secondary or Tier 2 pages will show in the drop-down menu from the respective Tier 1 page. Again, the section for setting categories and links in the top navigation bar is identical to the actions that we just performed for the pages in the top navigation bar, so we're not going to cover those. If you've already developed and activated menus using the WordPress 3.0 navigation menu settings found here, you won't have to activate your top navigation in the other graphical elements section of Suffusion. Another side note is this. You may already be using menus that you've activated with the WordPress 3.0 navigation menu settings found here. You won't have to activate your top navigation in the other graphical elements section of Suffusion if you've done this already. One advantage of using WordPress 3.0 navigation is that your menus will be compatible with other WordPress themes. So if you ever decide to switch themes, you won't have to reset your menus to the new theme. Just remember, not all themes support more than one menu. And so if your site is dependent on two or more menus, you'll need to choose a theme that will support more than one. You may want to watch my video series titled WordPress and Suffusion Theme from Start to Finish. In this video series, I cover menu setup thoroughly with an actual website. One more note about menus. If you notice that you have duplicate menus showing up in your navigation bar, 
it's likely because you've activated the menu in Suffusion settings and also in the WordPress 3.0 navigation menu. Ensure that only one has been activated to prevent duplicate entries in the navigation bar. We're going to skip over review of the navigation bar below the header since the setup for the top navigation bar that we just covered is identical to the setup for the navigation bar below the header. In the next video, we'll continue with the other graphical elements setup.